Hi friend, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will show you to an inverter circuit with input voltage of 12 volts and an output voltage of plus 40 volts. The circuit has over temperature protection, input low voltage, high input voltage protection, input reverse polarity protection. I will show you how to do it in detail after the sponsor's advertisement. These are custom 3D printed enclosures from a $1 service from JLCPCB. By 3D printing, your enclosure with JLCPCB, you can create a finished product experience for your hardware. Price as low as 7 cents per G. Step 1, Upload your 3D files. Upload your CAD file online and select materials to get an instant quote, price starts from $1. Step 2, 3D printing it. Our industrial 3D printers and professional operators will produce your prototypes and end-use parts with the highest quality. Step 3, delivery straight to you. JLCPCB 3D printing service covers a worldwide delivery, we will ship parts to your doors directly from our 3D printing factory. Here is the schematic diagram of the circuit. Thanks to Aka Kazian for sharing this circuit. You can visit the author's YouTube channel in the description for more details. This is the box and printed circuit board from JLCPCB. All files I have shared in the description, you can download from there. I soldered some components like resistors and capacitors to the circuit. The input voltage is applied to two 2200 microfarads capacitors and is protected against reverse bias by the IRF3205 MOSFET. The two main ICs of the circuit are the LM339 and SG3525. The LM339 has four sets of comparison algorithms, which are used to implement the circuit protection function. SG3525 is used to control two MOSFET IRF3205. This is IC SG3525. A little trick when soldering these ICs to the circuit is that, we will solder the pins opposite or far apart. Do not solder the pins close together, because it may overheat leading to the death of the IC. We can use MOSFET IRF3205 or equivalent like IRFC4480 and 70. In total we use 3 MOSFET on the circuit. 1 for reverse bias protection, 2 for toroidal transformer control. I have a lot of broken computer power circuits. I will use ICLM339 from it. You can buy it or use it like me. This is a very common IC. This is the official website of Utsource.com. Here you can buy all electronic components like MOSFET, sensor, transistor diode, DIAC. Most of the components in my video are bought from here, some I reuse from Circuit's old electronics. You just need to type the part name into the search box, you will have the results and the price immediately. Visit the link in this video description. Here is the circuit after I soldered all the peripheral components. All component values are clearly displayed on the PCB. This is very easy and avoids confusion when we solder components. Before installing the pulse transformer, I will use an oscilloscope to check the circuit operation. As we see, the circuit operates at 43 kilohertz with a duty cycle of 43%. I use one toroidal core with material is PC40, sized as above.
I use Litz wire with wire diameter like 1.2 millimeters. I will wrap it 17 turns for get plus dash 40 volt at output. Here is the result after completion. Primary. I will wrap 5 turns of wire with a wire diameter of 1.6 millimeters. This is the finished winding transformer. We have a total of 6 output wires with 3 for the primary and 3 for the secondary. I showed you how to make an inverter with common components. Good luck. Please leave comments if you have any request. I will reply to you. Thank for watch my video.